Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial and in this I'm just going to show you how to get animations from Mixamo uh, over into Unreal Engine uh, using root motion. So as some of you might know is Mixamo in 2016 drop support for Unreal Engine and people have invented workarounds where they take the animation from Mixamo, they put it into a 3D package such as Blender, 3D Studio Max or Maya and then they basically recreate the root bone uh, to make it so that it can function correctly in Unreal. Uh, but I'm going to show you a method where it doesn't need to use that. Uh, you don't need to go into a 3D package to do it. Uh, so you might have encountered this issue. Uh, so you try to import an animation you've downloaded from Mixamo. Uh, and then what happens is, so we sit there and we set up, right? We don't want to mesh. We assign it to our skeleton. So we're using the third person template here. Uh, so we assign it to our mannequin here. Uh, and then what we do is we hit import. And then we might get errors like this popping up. So it says that it can't do the animation, it can't assign it. The import bone is uh, transform is actually different to the original. Uh, and then you might get something that's like this, sat on the floor, or you might get it so they're floating up in the air doing some weird animation that you don't want. Uh, and the reason being is because <clears throat> Mixamo doesn't export the root bone anymore, uh, which obviously affects the problem. So if I just delete this out of my project, so a really easy fix to this is if I go to a website here, which is called Terribilis, uh, and what this is, is a free tool for retargeting Mixamo animations, and you can donate if you like, you can just enter a donation uh, right there, or you can just download here, and then it has a password here, which is Terribilis, uh, when you download the zip. Uh, I'll make sure to put the website URL into the description for the video, so you know where to obtain it. And you can see they're updating it as it goes. So it came out originally in 2019. It was updated on October 11th, 2020. So if you ever do have problems again, go back here, check if they've got a new version. Now, the way this works is quite simple. The instructions are very simple on it as well. So with your Mixamo here, when you download the project, so just to show you, you guys what it's like when you actually download the project itself. So what you'll have is you'll have this um, zip right here. So this Mixamo converter right here. And you'll get these bunch of files. And what they do is they provide you with this SK mannequin for Mixamo FBX. So the first thing you need to actually do is in Mixamo, you need to upload that character. So you need to hit upload. And then you select the character, or you can drag and drop the character in, like so. And then upload it. Could take some time this depends on your internet connection and how quick it is now mine are most likely asked me to replace my current character which is fine so there you go so it's uploaded it and then you'll see the character load in there and you just click next and there you go mine saying do you want to remove the previous one it's like yes i do and then it's going to update it and i can flick to whatever animation i want in my game i can adjust obviously the sliders all of that, you guys are familiar with Mixamo. So once that's done, I then select the animation I want and then I have to export it. So I hit the download button. And now the settings you want in here is you wanna make sure it's FBX. You wanna make sure it's without a skin because you don't want the character model to come with it. You wanna make sure that the keyframe reduction is a uniform keyframe reduction. And then obviously we're gonna use 30 frames per second. So I hit download. And now we wait for that to download for a minute. And then that starts downloading it. Now, what we need to do is before we bring it into Unreal, is that in our Mixamo we have this initiate folder right here. So we need to actually place the the FBX that we just downloaded into this initiate folder. So we just drag it into here, right there. Now, if we go back and we load up this Mixamo converter, like so, and then you get this dialog box pop up. So in here, you'll have your button here. And this is literally the only button you need. So I normally tick delete initial animations after conversion because I don't want two FBX files. Uh, and then what you do is you hit this button here, which is mix mode to Unreal. Click it, it come up with this. Your animations have been converted and moved to the complete folder. So you can close this now. Uh, you can actually close that off. Ooh. You can just right click, close the window. Now, if we look in our complete folder, you'll see, sorry about all the pop-ups and the binging, uh, you'll see that it's right there now. 
and that's our completed version. Now you can rename this if you want uh, and then move it to where you need it to be. So back in Unreal, if I now import this right here, I get my import options. Now what's handy is in this folder, you can see they've got a important configuration image and this tells you what you should set it up like to get the best uh, result that you want with it. So for this, we would want to assign our skeleton again right here, right? Uh, and then what you'll have normally is you'll have it like this. So you want to click this little show advanced arrow. And then in here, you want to make sure import meshes and bones is ticked. You want to make sure that the use default sample rate is ticked. You want to untick important uh, import custom attributes as a curve animation. Uh, you want to keep unticked delete and existing custom attributes. And you want to have ticked import bone tracks like that. And then down here, you want to make sure that delete existing morph targets is unticked and also do not import curves is unticked. Once you've done that and you've done all those settings, click import. And you see there was no errors, no errors popped up whatsoever this time. Now if I drag this into my scene, you can see that the animation's targeted correctly. If I hit play and see him going along and doing his, uh, doing his thing. Now, obviously, if you're animating this, you want to double click to open it up and then you want to make sure that in the root motion here that you have the enable root motion ticked and then you click save and then you can start setting that animation up. So what you'll get the result of is if I hit play here, you'll get the result once you set up your animations is your root motion kicking in like this. And that's just Mixamo animations from, uh, from Mixamo over to Unreal without having to go through a, another 3D package in order to do that process. And it's that quick and it's that simple. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys and hopefully I'll produce some in the future to help you guys out.